Okay, so here's another video that I've been wanting to record for you guys. So in my planner area, I wanted my planner stamps. They weren't previously in this area. They were in my card making area filed with all my other stamps and dies. But I do have them um, separated because I like all my planner stamps separated from my just regular card making stamps because they're different. So what I decided to do is as I was trying to kind of reconfigure this area for my planner um, desk, originally this had a whole bunch of Planners Anonymous um, planner cover melodies in it. So what I decided to do, it was mostly for decoration and so I wanted to make this a little more functional. So I moved um, those melodies up there. <laughs> They're way up there um, but they're perfect because I can grab them and then I decided to go ahead and put my stamps really easy to access right here on this buffet so I'll kind of show you um, what this furniture is it's just it's this large it's got a hutch and then it's got like a buffet I think it's intended for silverware and stuff like that like in a dining room but it's perfect for my craft room I found it on Facebook marketplace for really inexpensive and it just works out super great um, there are some more drawers under there um, it's just full of storage and then it has this portion right here that um, flaps out to have more space and then you'll see um, my planner desk is just right here so it's right behind me just a whole bunch of space so anyway so as I was working on this little area here and wanting my stamps in there I had gone to the garage to go get some white Ikea bins that I had and I thought okay those will fit my stamps really nice and I put them on here and I just didn't like it it was just uh so much um bin showing <laughs> like not really showing my supplies but just this like I don't know it just didn't look so good and maybe it's because this hutch is not like true white it's more off-white maybe from oxidation or you know the paint has kind of aged or whatever so um I got to thinking I had a couple of these scalloped shelves inside my garage um, because you know I'm always kind of working on my craft room and I'm also um taking things down putting them up um kind of evolving with the craft room organization and so I had one of these and I also had one of these it's a little bit bigger um, where the LM is and so that's a little bit bigger and so what I did is I, I was like oh I know what I'll do I will flip it over and so what I did is exactly that so I turned this scallop shelf um, floating shelf I flipped it upside down and it's working perfectly to store um, my stamps as you can see here I'll just pull this out a little bit sorry injured thumb it works really nice I'll um I'll end up pulling this other one out because it'll be easier for me so you can see that that is just one of those floating shelves and then I added a little bit of gold washi um, just to kind of dress it up a little bit and so yeah so this little one is holding um, two columns and then this larger one here is holding three columns and I just I really loved the way that turned out let me just kind of get things back in order here um, I really loved the way they turned out so I wanted to share with you um, you know kind of what I saw and um, what I found as a great solution um, opposed to a typical container um, just kind of re recycling those and having them um, serve a different purpose more of a storage bin than a shelf so I love the way that turned out so I wanted to share it with you um, I this one the larger one I bought at Hobby Lobby and then um, this shorter one here I got in a pack of three the way it is here I believe at Target and I haven't been able to find it again so I'm sure it's been discontinued but just keep your eye out for maybe you can even check it Amazon for um, floating shelves that are scalloped and you too can use them this way in your craft room because it looks really cute all right that's all my sharing for today and I will talk to you guys later bye bye